In this lab, we're isolating caffeine out of tea using dichloromethane extraction. Now, this procedure can be difficult to get right, as well as it doesn't always give a good amount of product. So, take everything slowly and carefully, and you should be good. So, first thing we're going to need to do is brew some tea. Alright, so I got about 75 mils of distilled water. Where they're going to add a couple boiling chips, not many, just a few. That's good. I will just help it boil a bit better. Right, so now I'm going to add four tea bags. Let's try and get it really concentrated and get as much caffeine as we can. All right, so now we have our tea. We're gonna go ahead and squeeze out our tea bag. Let me grab some. I just got some paper towels off the side. But I got two wash plates that we're gonna squeeze the tea bags together in between. Probably just do one at a time. It's still really hot, so I wanna be careful. All right, so now we're gonna let this cool down to room temperature, and then we'll begin extracting it. All right, now that our tea is cooled down, I'm adding two grams of sodium carbonate. This will react with some of the tannins and other products in the tea and make those water soluble so they don't come over with the caffeine. Once it looks like it's dissolved, we're then going to add this to a separatory funnel. So, mix it up. Alright. And now we'll add this to a separatory funnel. Alright, so we just want to transfer the liquid. There are still boiling stones in there, so I'm going to carefully pour it and get none of the. We'll try not to get the boiling stones. So now I have. You've all done extraction before with separatory funnel. I'm gonna add in the, I got 10 mils of dichloromethane. You can see formation of two layers. Now the thing you really want to be careful with in this experiment more than any is the possibility of an emulsion. I talked about it in the first video I made that we do a extraction in, but in this experiment it's really important because tea is very likely to form an emulsion, so you just want to make sure you're gently doing it. Alright, now that we have our 
dichloromethane extracts. We're going to dry with some anhydrosodium sulfate and put it in a crystallization dish to get our crude caffeine. All right, so now we will let that evaporate and get our crude caffeine. All right, here is our crude caffeine. It's kind of hard to see like my glove behind it. There you go, that white stuff, and there's some on the sides. I'm going to scrape up as much of this as I can, and then I'm going to heat up some absolute ethanol, and we're going to dissolve as much of this as we can in about one mil of hot absolute ethanol, transfer it to a test tube, and let it recrystallize. Alright, so it didn't look like a lot of my crude caffeine dissolved in the ethanol, so I'm going to take this test tube, put it aside, let it keep recrystallizing because there's definitely some solids in there. And I'm going to try this again. I'm also going to go ahead and get our Buchner funnel set up to filter it. Alright, so this time I used a little bit a little bit more ethanol um, and it seemed to dissolve everything. So now I will let that sit and recrystallize. So I'm now going to vacuum filter, I'm now going to filter off and collect our caffeine. Both of my crystallization test tubes look similar, so I'm going to combine the product and then I, it's not part of the experiment, but I'm going to test with IR just to confirm that it is caffeine. So let's go ahead and vacuum down just to help. Alright, it's looking good like we got some product and looks like there may still be some in the hot ethanol but I just, if we get enough, we get enough. So I'll let what I have dry and we'll see how much we get. Got our caffeine on the scale. It's been hovering about 12 to 8. Um, when you're at this small scale, these balances don't give you great amounts, but let's go with a, let's go with an even 10 milligrams. But here is our caffeine.